Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to continue working on my uh, 67 Camaro RSSS and I've got it up here on my lift as you can see there. And I'm going to lower it down and I'm going to get the rest of this front end together and try to get it running today. So I have all the parts and pieces to the front end here on the table as well as I've ordered uh, some new stuff uh, from Heartbeat City and I'll be opening up these boxes and kind of going through each uh, part and going through it here. So um, I'm going to pull out the bikes right now and lower the lift and get started. Just a quick note here while this is being sped up a little bit while I pull the bikes out to lower the lift. Uh, I just installed the lift recently and it's really the best purchase I've made in a long time. So it's very, very convenient. I have a relatively small shop, so it's pretty convenient to have the car right there above all the bikes and so on. Also, this is a good opportunity for me to please request that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for uh, future post notifications. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to open up these boxes and kind of go over these parts with you. And again, thanks to Heartbeat City for having all these great parts. So, this, this is actually a, uh, the right side. Actually, I got both, both uh, outside mirrors, right and left, because the car came with both mirrors, but of course they're missing. And this is an exact repro reproduction. Actually, one of these is, is the real thing. But this one right here is a uh, reproduction. I think it's the right-hand mirror. And it's just a gorgeous mirror. It's got the bow tie on there. And it has all the mounting hardware. So that's the right hand mirror. Not sure what this is. Oh, okay. This is the, uh, actually, this is a various different parts. This is an original uh, NOS dipstick tube for my 69 Z28. And... This is the lower tube to the same car. And these are uh, the radius, some of the hardware to the radius rod traction bar on the 67 Camaro. Again, this is the uh, mirror assembly. Some of these things are to the 69 Camaro, but anyway, so there's miscellaneous hardware there. Again, this goes to the uh, traction bar 
the radius rod traction bar on the 67, which is missing on, on my car, so I have to replace it. Radiator hose for the 67. Hood louver gasket. These are the front bumper guards to the 67 Camaro. Because again, that car came with front bumper guards, but I was missing the bumper as well as the guards. But I have a beautiful bumper that I found online that I'll show you in a few minutes. Okay, the, these are the rear bumper guards for my 69Z. So this is one of the hood grills for the 67. And wow, this is uh, pretty nice. These are beautiful reproductions. And I mean, they are, as far as I can tell, they're pretty exact to the original. They even have the part number on them, which you can see there. So, uh, you know, these are just beautiful and they're a lot less money than the original ones, which I, Almost went for the original ones, but looking at these, I'm happy I went with these. This is the other one. I believe these are the traction, or this is the traction bar. Yep. So this is the radius traction bar for the 67. And again, as some of you may know, on the 67, the rear shocks were not staggered. So they had a, they had a problem with the rear end twisting. So around the early December of 66 cars, which mine's a late December, they started installing this radius traction bar at the rear end. And when I install this, you'll see where it is. My rear end has the provision for it. And some of the cars do, some of them don't. And this is the driver's side mirror for the 67. And this is an original day-coded one. So this one's day-coded 12 of 66, which is what, what my car is. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the date right there. Not sure if you can see that or not.
again, this is a uh, this is a reproduction drill, but I think they nailed it on this because it is just beautiful. And when you buy it assembled, it's already got the upper the upper and lower trim pieces on it. And again, some of you may or may not know, on the 67 Camaro, these, all the grill pieces were, were level with one another. On the 68, the horizontal bars stuck out just slightly from the vertical. And I'm not sure, but I think that 68 were highlighted as well, but I'm not sure about that. Highlighted the silver. But this is the correct 67. And same with the headlight doors on the rally sport. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now I have the original headlight doors. Um, but you know, I'm probably going to end up using these because they're just so much nicer. Uh, but I don't know. I have to decide on that. These are all plastic, whereas the originals were like a cast, you know, like a pop metal. And I'll show those to you right now. So here are the original, the original ones. And... Actually, this part here is is plastic, but the but the trim. Well, no, I guess the whole thing's plastic. I thought it was pop metal, but it's actually it actually is all plastic. So there's the difference, and I mean they're pretty much identical in every way. So again, I think I'm going to put the reproductions on there. But I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Initially, I'm going to get the car back together and running. And, you know, I'll probably go ahead and put the new ones on just so they match the original grill or the, uh, the new grill. And then decide later on whether I'm going to fully restore the car or keep it all original like it is. Some of, them, some of you guys may want to chime in on that after they get the car running. So, so we'll see what happens. So looking at the car, There's the bumper that I mentioned earlier. So this bumper supposedly is used, but you couldn't convince me that this is not an NOS bumper. I mean, the chrome on it is absolutely perfect. So I'll take it. So again, today I'm going to start getting all of this back together again. I've got the radiator over there somewhere, and I'm going to go ahead and install that, hook up the correct hoses. Uh, the car has a brand new water pump on it, or I'm sorry, a brand new uh, fuel pump, and it's got a brand new starter and new exhaust going out the exhaust manifolds, but they go into a couple of glass packs and then stop. So I've got the original exhaust ordered, an original uh, brand new exhaust um, ordered for the car. And it'll probably be here any day. So I'll, I'll be installing that. And then once I get 
the radiator and everything in there. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the front end together here. And it'll start looking like a 67 Camaro again. So what I did here was I installed the driver's side inner fender. And as you can see before, when I check the radiator, it does have a leak. So um, I'm going to have to take it to the radiator shop on Monday uh, before I can install it here. So in the meantime, I'm going to install all of the inner fenders. And again, I've got this one in. And of course, in order to do it, you've got to, you've got to loosen up the fender. You have to loosen up the core support and then just kind of like slip it in from underneath underneath the fender well there and i'm not really concerned about scratching it up or anything because i'm gonna if i restore this car i'm gonna take it all apart and repaint it and everything anyway so uh, i'm just getting it together right now to get the car running and so on so so now i'm going to put the passenger side inner fender in and these are AMD fenders so they fit pretty well I'm pretty impressed so far that one right there lined up pretty well so I'm gonna get to installing this one now Okay, so now I'm going to start the installation process of this newly restored radiator into the 67 Camaro. And by the way, as you can see here, I got the new tires on there, the original, um, similar to the original red lines that came on the car. So. First thing I have to do is take these good old flexible hoses off of here, both the upper and the lower, and then I can uh, connect the radiator to the core support. And once I get all that hooked up, then I'll go ahead and put the whole front end together, which will be the header panel, the lower valance, and the grill. Okay, so now I'm ready to put the radiator in, and I've got the radiator down here, so I can just lift it up. First thing you have to do is put the radiator shroud in. Kind of have it just sitting there. Good to stick a bolt in the hole of the radiator so that when you bring it up you can go ahead and start it with your fingers. So you get the left side or the right side going first. And then the left side has these rubber bushings and special screws on the left side. So 
So what you have to do is you take the, the uh, rubber bushing and you have to install it from, from the back side or from the engine side. Just like that. So then when you screw in the bolt through there from the other side, it expands the bushing as you can see there. So that's going to do it for this second part of the uh, 67 Camaro RSSS. And uh, I'll have another video on this car uh, very soon. So as usual, thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe and share. It really helps the channel. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.